on the table today at Squirrel Stampede. It is the enormous electronic Heat Ray Breath Godzilla RC from Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. And we may just see the largest Godzilla versus Monster City battle ever at Squirrel Stampede today. So we can actually control Godzilla with a remote control you ask? We sure can. This giant Godzilla features simulated heat ray breath, realistic stomping action, atomic energy spines that light up, tail whip action, and even more lights and sounds. So it's a pretty spectacular feature. Join along as we stomp through some buildings, smash up some monsters, and give a few squirrels a fun ride. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and subscribe! And it's Godzilla X Kong The New Empire Heat Ray Breath Godzilla RC with simulated heat ray breath and realistic stomping action. Got to say this RC is looking huge, about 12 inches in height, and we'll check out length too. I like how the remote looks like a Zilla foot. That's gotta be ergonomic. Continuing on with the epic Godzilla X Kong packaging design, fuchsia, lightning fuchsia. However, this isn't Playmates Toys, it's Jada. Jada? Jada. Jada. That's a first for me, I think. Back of the box, fantastic image of the new evolved Zilla with a little tighter waist and a stronger, better fury swipe arm length with the tail whip action, of course. Well, so good to finally unleash this one. It has been tripping me up right in the front of my studio doors. Zilla's gotta live. Zilla's gotta live. So out of the package we go. And out a package with some assembly required. Just make sure to line up just like so. One of the first things I notice with this one, it will sub in just fine with your other Godzilla action figures. Feels just like another figure, only this one is RC. I also notice a little bit of squishiness to it. I like that. You don't see a squishy feel on most Godzilla toys, sometimes a really thick plastic, but this one is a nice rubbery, lifelike feel, especially on those back spines. Very, very fun. Tail over here continues on as squishy too. I'm sure there's gonna be some uh, articulation going on with the uh, RC, so we won't play with that just yet, but out of pack, looking spectacular. Now surprisingly, batteries are included. Four AA batteries are installed in the underbelly of Godzilla. And you would know this if we had tested out the Try Me button on the box, which is hidden on one of these top spines. Okay, that's not loud at all. Let's see that in a darker environment. And let's try from this light source. I don't believe I can think of many of the previous Godzilla figures we've gone through the years with that much of an energy spines power up blast that we've just seen. But we did see with Playmates, their electronic Godzilla a few years back, who is probably the closest match. And looking a little bit taller, surprisingly, at about 13 inches in height there. This one, the only other one I can think of with the effects. It's cool that we have a new evolved version of Godzilla, and this could be the previous unevolved uh, established Godzilla. So these two together are going to work well in display. Both with really fantastic energy charge up, but now we've got to test out the RC abilities. Batteries are installed, but we need to charge up his heat ray feature. Bringing out Squirrel Stampede Aquatic Center with the secret mustard, we will take this little turkey baster included and we will baste up Godzilla. And to do so, flip up this non very conspicuous uh, cap up top of Zilla's head here, brains, and we'll fill a few drops in here. Sometimes it takes a few more drops to start these off as they are dry. We'll have to adjust as we go through this, and sometimes it takes a few runnings of these uh, to really give effect. So I'll I'll give it a generous a generous squirting here. I'll do the 
a full, a full turkey baste. And if we had to add more, we can. And then cover that back up. Thank you for the help, Secret Mustard. We'll see you a little bit later. Okay, we can now establish power on features. The on button, I believe, is somewhere down below over here. There we go. There is a try me, I think, for packages. We'll go all the way to the other side. And he roars to life. Then quickly, press any controller here. We're gonna try to pair this. Oh, we've gotta pull the battery. Battery socket out, and it is paired, it is paired. There we go, I think there's about a 20 second window to do so. There's our foot controller again, very nicely done. And uh, where do we start? Well, the top button here should be roar. Yeah, that's the Godzilla we all know and love. And now let's test out the heat ray, which may take some time to charge. Oh my, there he goes, he's already smoking. He's already smoking. Impressive, let's get the lights down again. It's a little tricky to see with the lights being bright. Today's one of those lights on, lights off days. Oh my, oh that's impressive. I'm impressed how quick that melted into his esophagus to work. Now we can test out some movement. So to go forward, we're just gonna press forward on our control pad, and there he goes. Oh my, Godzilla, we better go backwards. How do we go backwards? Does he go backwards? I don't think he goes backwards, that's funny. Uh, just forwards, just forwards. Uh, we're gonna have to manually turn you around, Zilla. Uh, hang on, hang on, get the back backup motors going and there we have front front walking ability that's funny they didn't give it a backwards motion but i guess there's a side to side tail whip that's pretty nice careful not to bump the roar button there is a nice tail whip button here which still makes him walk and maybe when you move your tail you might get some rotation on his forward walking. Hard to say, he's, he's headed towards the end of the table there. Can we flip you back around Zilla? We're certainly gonna have to build a playground for him. There's just not enough room here on set to move him around, back him up. Tail whip feature is impressive. Look at that, I'm so glad they included that. That is an awesome feature. You typically wouldn't see that in RC. I think I'm gonna have just too much fun with this tail whip feature. Oh, there goes Kong. Oh, though, I really wish there was a reverse feature. I cannot believe they did not include. There must have been something just, you know, the way the tail holds on the floor here with the, some wheels. Must not have been a way to do it. I don't know why, but yeah, that's an unfortunate misstep. Also kind of unfortunate misstep, if you want to wag the tail while the action is happening, it cuts out. Ah. The energy spines roar action feature is going to be only by itself. You cannot pair it with movement. Uh, once the movement kicks in and you add in a uh, activated effect, it shuts it down. It shuts down the movement. So that's kind of a bummer too, but we'll be okay as we get to a playground setting. One more time though, up close with this roar. And maybe one more time from this menacing angle. All right, even though it has limited motion and the effects don't go at the same time as its movement, I'm having superior fun with this one. I'm pulling this out and going to the playground. Okay, we have a flyover in progress over at Squirrel Micro Machine City. Looks to be a lovely day, but look! Oh no! There is an attack in progress! Scar King is attacking the city! I repeat, 
Scar King attacking the city. So Scar King appears to be attacking the city. And look, so is Mega Godzilla. And oh no, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex spotted near the bank. I repeat, Tyrannosaurus Rex spotted near the city bank. Mega Godzilla, Mega Godzilla, prepare for battle. Activate the battle block. Activate the battle block. Oh no, Mecha Godzilla has lasers on the battle block. This is a catastrophe. Look, the T Rex is attacking the bank. Tyrannosaurus Rex has just torn the bank off its foundations. The bank is destroyed. The T Rex has destroyed the bank. All units proceed to attack. And now Scar King is whiplashing the city. Take cover. Whiplashing, taking pounding on buildings, building structures destroyed. Retreat, retreat. Oh, this is just a catastrophe in progress. But wait. Godzilla RC is entering the theater. I repeat, Godzilla RC is entering the theater. So Godzilla is coming on in to save the Squirrel Micro Machine City. Lumbering ever so slow. Can Godzilla get through these buildings? I don't know. Things are pretty tight in the city square. Oh no, not the Katsuki building. Ooh, ouch. Everyone, clear the area as Godzilla lumbers on through to get to Scar King. Lumbering giant RC Godzilla taking down buildings as if they were cardboard boxes made by Melissa and Doug. Godzilla has spotted Scar King. Godzilla focusing on Scar King. Godzilla focusing on Scar King. Evacuate. Evacuate. Godzilla is charging up his main attack. Whoa, what a hit on Scar King. He is down. What a hit. Godzilla has no problem taking down Scar King. Mecha Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla has just grabbed onto Godzilla's tail. Oh, this is not good. Godzilla falls. So does Mecha. What an explosion. But Godzilla is okay. He's rebounded. Godzilla back up. Godzilla back up. Prepare more helicopters. T-Rex is still attacking the bank. Destruction everywhere. But... Godzilla takes out the T-Rex with ease. Some good luck. Mothra! Mothra's here! Oh no, Mothra is also attacking RC Godzilla. I thought Mothra would be on our side. Maybe it's just confused and sees that bright light in Godzilla's throat. Well, Mothra has flippied on away. Good thing. Oh no, Scar King is back! And he has jumped on top of Godzilla's back. We don't think Godzilla should wrangle free from Scar King's grip. No, wait, look, the citizens have built Jet Jaguar. 
Assemble Jet Jaguar. A citizen. Assemble Jet Jaguar. Use him to hold down Scar King. Jet Jaguar is holding on to Scar King. Whoa! Zilla with a double kick down a Scar King. And this battle is over. RC Zilla can now leave the theater. What an attack on Squirrel Micro Machine City. There will be much to rebuild. And so there is our Godzilla after action. What a fun feature this one sure was. He lumber walks so well through the city. By the way, I like these little toes up front. They kind of move up and down, giving him a realistic walk-like feature. Yeah, for Godzilla fans, I totally recommend this RC. The stomping, the atomic breath, light up spines. Just overall action, quite a bit of fun. Only thing I'm having trouble with still is getting him to turn a little bit more than just walking straight. I know that if you move the tail in just the right direction, you might be able to give him some movement. But it's gonna take some play and it's gonna take some extra space. I get distracted smashing buildings, that's my thing. And I wish it had reverse. I really wish it had a reverse feature. But look how it walks. It's so fun. It's so lumbering. And I also like just that atomic breath overall wiggle at the torso. It looks so much fun. So keep an eye out for this if you want to add in an electronic moving Godzilla into your collection. And we also got a little bit behind today. I wanted to share some of these hollow earth crystals with surprise monsters inside. It appears inside we can collect some of the many new awesome monsters from Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. So stay on tuned for that review. We will get to those shortly, I hope. Also, I finally found the Titan Evolution Godzilla where you peel away the skin. You can peel away the skin to reveal the evolved Godzilla underneath. So stay tuned for that. I'll pair that with the Hollow Earth Crystals coming up soon. And I think there's also a Mega Constructs Godzilla Kong we need to build. So stay tuned for those too. So there you go with the Heat Ray Breath Godzilla RC. A little bit squirrely here and there, but overall a joy to control. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye, squamit your favorite feature of the Heat Ray Breath Godzilla. Are you a superior squirrel watcher? It's almost springtime. We have a few more weeks to enter in. Superior squirrel watcher in the comments. Uh, there's a contest going on if you have not noticed, and someone might get a really cool t-shirt, water bottle, plush Landry. We will see. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.